Look at that. Skyway Pier, dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what it's about. This is what it is about. Oh, keep going, keep going. Here's the tip. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> What's up everybody? This is Todd with Coastal Tides. You know, today I was gonna take the boat out. Uh, I was gonna try to find a few spots out here uh, near the Skyway, try to fish them. But uh, it's not gonna be raining today, but my God is the wind howling and the waves are churning. I don't know if y'all can see that too well. But uh, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I don't, honestly, I don't see any boats out right now. It's just too rough for the boat, and uh, we're just gonna stick to the pier today. So we're gonna get some shrimp, because I always love to have some shrimp on hand, because everything in the ocean eats shrimp. It's like the number one bait to use. I've caught all kinds of fish using shrimp, so I always make sure I got a, a, a decent shrimp supply on hand, but I do like to catch some pinfish and uh, some other baits if I can. Well, that sucks. O'Neill's only had like two and a half dozen shrimp total. <laughs> I bought all of them. I usually get five dozen from there because they sell five dozen shrimp for 11 bucks. Only on uh, Monday through Friday though. They don't do that on the weekends. But um, yeah, they didn't have as much, which is fine. <clears throat> I got a couple pretty good, nice sized ones in there, but I can always uh, go to the Skyway and, and see if they actually have uh, any more shrimp because I do like to have about five dozen because you know when nothing's really going on I like to throw shrimp on there and uh, eh, try to catch some snapper or something you know they make for some good fish tacos but anyway headed out to the Skyway now just left uh, O'Neill's and uh, got him an eyeball in that um, Tidewater 2110 Baymax they got there god I really want that <laughs> uh, I already got a boat though Trying to buy another one. Anyway, uh, we'll see you guys out on the pier. Ooh, that wind is howling right now. But this is how I catch my bait, you guys. I use a uh, sabiki rig. Now you can make your own. Um, I don't normally. I, I, I have in the past. It's real easy to make. It's basically, a, like a chicken rig. Uh, but the reason why I use uh, sabiki rigs most of the time is because if I use other uh, other rigs that I, I would make, I have a hard time catching the, all the uh, white baits out here. So Speaky Rigs, the hooks are small enough and these little flags on them uh, definitely help to uh, attract them as well. And they go for that. Sometimes when the, when the white baits are deep, uh, they're really hard to catch. Uh, with a net so a sabiki rig is the way to go and that's how I catch uh, most of them um, but I don't think I'm gonna catch any of those today uh, I'll have to find some but the only bad thing about sabiki rigs is they can get kind of tangled up but they're pretty good to use for pin fish and stuff uh, like I said you can make your own rigs save you a few bucks but I use these not only to catch the uh, the pin fish but also the white baits as well because it works really good on the white bait. So usually what I do to catch uh, pinfish is I'll take a shrimp. Sometimes I use uh, two of them. I'll go ahead and cut them up into little pieces. And uh, I know there's other ways to catch them. You know, fish bites. I've heard uh, you can take a little piece of fish bites, put them on the hook, and it works just as well as shrimp. But I don't have any fish bites. So I got shrimp. Um, I usually don't use the head to fish for them, but you, you can. I usually just cut them into little, little pieces like this. Just like that. That works pretty well. As long as there's some scent on the hook, you can catch pinfish. And what I usually do is I'll take my smallest, uh, my smallest shrimp that I have, my smaller ones like that, and I'll use these uh, as the bait for the speaky. Now I want to show y'all something real quick. Sometimes you get some big shrimp. Sometimes you get some big shrimp like that. That's one hell of a bait out here. I'll tell you what, man, you throw that out, 
a grouper will hit that, a keeper size grouper too. So we're saving him for later. I'm gonna, still, I'm gonna get this, uh, this other little one right here. See how, how little that guy is? You know, decent mangrove snapper will eat that too. And there we go. I think we have enough uh, little baits for uh, catch some finch fish. So we're gonna try to catch them. So you just take a piece like that, put it on the hook, and there you go, just like that. Now, when you're using a sabiki, there's you know multiple hooks on these things. Um, you do not have to put a piece of shrimp or whatever bait you're using on every single one because pinfish will only eat the bottom two to the bottom three hooks. Uh, you usually don't catch a whole a whole sabiki full of pinfish in one unless you're in like a like a giant school and they're just stacked on top of each other and they're all just in a feeding frenzy. You might then, but typically the bottom two to the bottom three hooks is, is uh, how you're gonna catch these pinfish. Uh, once you find that school, you have no problem catching them. And just like that, we found one. It's actually a pretty healthy pinfish. But we'll, we only caught one on that that cast. I had to go over here to get him. So we're gonna keep this guy. He's gonna be grouper bait. Now that's rare for me. He, ah, you little bastard. So you gotta watch out for him too. They'll get you. Anyway, this is rare for me because he hit towards the top of the sabiki. I've never had that happen. And there was no bait on that, so it's actually a good sign they're they're really hungry right now. All right, well we got some baits. Not bad at all. I know it's a little dirty in there, but oh well. <laughs> so, all right, time to fish. Let's go to the spots or spot, either one. I don't know. You can catch anything anywhere out here. Honestly, there's really no uh, special super secret spots out here but there are some spots that produce a little better than others but you never know if you're going out if you're coming out here and going for grouper dude i'm telling you you're going to catch them just about anywhere but there's certain spots that you're going to find out that you prefer to fish um but that's just the way it is out here so let's get fishing all right y'all got a nice little uh nice little trout not bad he's going back Big trout, holy crap. <laughs> oh, he's already getting heat. Hey, if I put them in the net, you're giving me half, right? Half? <laughs> I'm gonna put it right in front of them. Holy f that's a nice one. Yep. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <There it> is. <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God. Dude, look at the size of that Holy thing. Holy That's beautiful. Dude, I ain't never catching a guy. 28? 28. 28. 30. 30. Don't measure it. Don't you do that to me. Where's his measure? 28 to and a half. 28 and a half? Yeah. Don't you do that. I want to join the 30 club, dog. That's 30 what? on a guy's day, dog. <laughs> that ain't. You think it is? It ain't. That's 28. A grouper. 28. And a half. Yeah. 28 and a half. You got a measure? Let's see a measure. No, I don't know. Where's the measuring? I need a measuring tape. Measure Anybody tape? got one? Hey, before we measure, you gotta hold it up and give a big old smile. <laughs> Look Skyway at that. Pier, dog. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's about. This is what it is about. Oh, keep going, keep going. Here's the tip. Keep going. <laughs> you gotta keep going down. <laughs> One more picture. Yeah. Ah, gag like this. Oh Let's gag on this. You gag on this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 30-inch fish. 
Oh, he's oh he's over thirty, dude. No wait, no no, he's probably right at. God damn you, you motherfucker with the beanie on. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's about, he's about 28, 28 and a half. 28 and a half ish. Yeah. So it's not a keeper. What did I say? Hell yeah, he is. Oh, he's keeper. Keeper's right here, dog. Keeper 24. 24. Almost there, though, bro. He's almost a Jedi. Oh! <laughs> I got their numbers. What's up, dog? <laughs> it's like trying to get in a 40 inch club with snow. I got ice, dude. Very much. Grouper gang. Oh, I got five bag of ice. Grouper gang. Hey, you can put them in my cooler, but you know, yeah, I know. I might have to leave. Right right I might have to leave before then. Right on the bottom, right? Oh man, that's what, dude. Runs. I got oh, a yeah, couple dude. of them. Right. Yeah. Get the pylons on them bouncing. Ha! Skyway misfits can suck it. They can. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get any luckier than that one. In the cheek. Nice. Yeah. Barely even hook. Came right out. Barely even hook. <laughs> there That's we go. About, brother. That's what it's all about down here. Yeah, it is, man. All right, well, that's all I got for you guys. I took my GoPro off for a little while, and uh, I was talking with Chuck, and here he is. <laughs> I fucking had a big one, man. Uh, you just like, as soon one. as I set that down, Smoked it. It was a big one. Yeah. It was a big one. Hey, did I lose one today? How big was that one? Oh, it was pretty big. It was pretty big. It was pretty big. <laughs> and there you have it. I did lose one. I took the GoPro off and I went to go talk to him. Um, sometimes if you pay attention to your rod, you don't get nothing. You don't get no bites or anything until you're not paying attention and that's when those grouper are going to hit for some odd reason sometimes it just plays out like that it, it always happens when you really least expect it and when you're not paying attention um but i was went to go talk to him and heard the drag clicker go off and ran over as fast as i could but um pushed the lever forward came tied on him fought him for like i don't know three or four seconds and then it broke me off so it was probably about 100 feet I had to run, and that was just enough time for him to get into his little hole and, you know, couldn't get him out. But the way he felt, he was a big grouper. He was nice. Definitely a keeper. Today, for me, I wasn't able to really land any grouper. Um, oh, well. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. But thanks, everybody, for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys watching the channel. And until the next video, y'all stay cool. Go fishing. We'll see you next time.